The Court of Appeal in Kampala has reduced from 15 to 7 years as the jail sentence handed to the former principal account of the office of the Prime Minister Geoffrey Kazinda for illicit enrichment. We have more. The Anti-Corruption Court's Justice Margaret Tivulia in November 2020 handed Kazinda a 15-year jail sentence after being found guilty of illicit enrichment for having granted constellation suit in Nakasero and apartments in Kampala for 10 months at a cost of shillings. 210 million had the house and land at Chadondo. Menga was valued at shillings 3.1 billion, cars including BMW, Mercedes-Benz, ML Class, Dodge Saloon car, all valued at 769 million and diverting over 20 billion government funds away beyond his salary. Unsatisfied with the court's decision, Kazinda ran to the Court of Appeal. On Thursday, three justices of the Court of Appeal, including Frederick Engond Antende, Catherine Bamgemereire, and Christopher Madrama, reasoned with Kazinda and reduced the 15 year jail sentence. Whereas Kazinda has asked court to overturn the entire conviction, the three justices of the Court of Appeal dragged feet in reasoning with him, noting that reducing the sentence was only prudent. The embattled former principal accountant in the Prime Minister's office had told the Court of Appeal justices that five years' imprisonment on each of the three counts of illicit enrichment should run concurrently because he was charged with one offence of illicit enrichment and not distinct offences. However, the judges dismissed this request by Kazinda. The judges found the appellant's argument baseless because he was charged with three distinct offenses of illicit enrichment not arising from one transaction or one set of facts. Section 23 of the Trial of Indictments Act provides for joinder of counts.